fellow geeks and welcome back to Running Geek Girl. My name is Heather and I am glad you're here today. If you have been here before, thank you for coming back. And if this is your first time here, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of the running content I have coming out all the time. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the new Jeff Galloway app. Now for those of you who are not familiar with Jeff Galloway, he is an Olympian and uh, has become a coach and he has championed the run walk method in which you run for a certain amount of time and then walk for a certain amount of time in order to allow your running muscles to recover and it's meant to cover a lot of ground without overly exerting your body. Many, many people have used it. People have even qualified for Boston while using it. So it's followed by a lot of people. It doesn't work for everyone. It may not work for you, but a lot of people have found a lot of success with the Galloway method. Now, before Jeff Galloway has had several different apps and depending on what distance you wanted to run, 5K, 10K, half, or a full marathon, then you would have to purchase an app based off of that specific distance. So what they have finally done is combined all of the apps into one and given you a few extra bells and whistles. So let's just take a very quick overview over uh, what you're going to find in the new Jeff Galloway app. Now, first of all, when you open the app, you're going to come to your landing page and up on the upper right hand side, you're going to find a little light bulb that's flashing. And that is your Jeff tip of the day. And he'll give you a little bit of information. As you can see here, he's giving me a little bit of information on the magic mile test and how that works out for you and kind of helps determine overall what your pace will be in your upcoming race. After that, once you get out of that, uh, you'll find just kind of your basic menu, what your workout is for the day, your weather for the day. Uh, it gives you your current Magic Mile information based off of the information it has on you. And then you have the opportunity to uh, add in a tracker, a tracking device like a Garmin or a uh, Apple Watch, and it will keep track of whatever information has been inputted for your device on that day. Next, we'll move over to the workouts, and this is where you find a list of all the different training plans that you can use here in the app. Uh, some of them are free and some of them you do have to purchase. Now, you'll see that these go uh, all the way from 5K up to who knows what. So you'll look in the 5K plans and you'll see that there are different goals, uh, time goals just to finish. There are some that are race specific for the ones that Jeff is an ambassador for. And a lot of them are going to be the Disney races. So if you have a Disney race coming up, then you have that. You have 5 10K, 10K, 10 milers, your half marathon, your full marathon, your uh, combination 10K and half marathon for Disney challenges, uh, a dopey plan, relay race plans, and theme park specific events, and the IMT Des Moines Marathon, which he is also an ambassador for. If you go over to Quick Start, then that allows you to just program in, if you're not following a training plan, your own workout for that day of what you feel you need, and it will go ahead and put together a nice little uh, workout for you for that day. And you have the option of turning on Jeff's audio coaching. Uh, if you turn on the audio coaching, then every once in a while, Jeff's voice will come in and give you a little bit of information on training, nutrition, hydration, or just give you a little bit of encouragement. And of course, uh, he always starts your workout by letting you know the workout you were about to do and uh, what you should be aiming for, what your goals should be for that workout. You'll also notice that you can do this on the treadmill or outside. Moving over to drills, if you're needed to do some speed drills, you can program in what you're needing, uh, what your intervals need to be, how often you wanna do the intervals, the uh, rate, uh, the pace that you wanna do it, and it will generate a workout for you so that you uh, can do the speed drill that you're needing to do for that day. Again, if you are doing a training plan, a lot of this is built in, but if you're doing this just kind of on your own, then it will have it for you. And then if you are needing to do a magic mile test, it will program in a magic mile workout for you so that you can get a more accurate uh, measurement of what your magic mile would be. For those of you not familiar with it, a magic mile is uh, where you do a workout into a uh, one mile run so that you can kind of get uh, a feel of what is comfortable 
for one mile for you and based off of that it can recommend different uh, race paces for you and give you a general idea of how long it will take you to run different distances. Moving over to meals, you will see that it gives you some recommended meals uh, for every single day in order to kind of help you meet some of your nutritional goals. If you are kind of at a loss as what you need to be eating while you were in training, then this does give you some suggestions for that. If you scroll over to recipes or to groceries, those both do require a paid membership for this. I do not have a paid membership uh, for this part of the app, uh, so I'm not able to show you what that looks like. But from what I've seen from other people who have used the app, what it does is uh, it will give you specific recipes for all of the meals that it suggests for that day so that uh, you can kind of tweak as you need to. And it will also generate a grocery list. So if you look at what your meals are going to be for the week, then it will generate a weekly grocery list for you. You can just make one run to the store, buy everything on your list, and you'll have everything that's set for your recipes for that week. If you do choose to uh, pay for the membership, you can either pay monthly or you can pay for the entire year. Moving over to the me tab, this is just where you store all of your account information. It'll keep track of how many miles you've gone using this app, how many workouts you've done, calories that you've burned. It will keep track of your workouts so that you can go back and scroll through and see which workouts you've done. It gives you an average pace history and it also keeps track of changes in your weight Weight, if that's something that you are doing as part of your training. There is also an achievements section there so that as you finish different accomplishments in the app, then it will reward you with something on your profile page. And finally, on the resources tab, it gives you more information on the magic mile, where your magic mile is right there, and what your expected finish times would be for different distances of races. You'll also see that there is an entire section there all about the Boston Marathon telling you how to qualify. There's some training tips to look at. It gives you a tour of the course so that you can kind of get in your head where the different hills are. It will also show you how to make adjustments to your plan based off of what happens when life just comes up, such as your race weekend doesn't match your schedule, the conditions aren't right, you have uh, interruption because of injury or sickness, or perhaps uh, you're having to take some time off because of career or vacation or family commitment commitments, then it gives you some tips on how to adjust for that and still be ready for your marathon. And as usual, in the previous versions of the Jeff Galloway app, you've been able to play music as part of your run. So if you are a type of person that listens to music when you run, then you still can do that. There is pre-programmed music that you can download into the app, and it will also play music that is on your device if you have it set up within a playlist. And it will also adjust the tempo on your music so that it matches the beat, matches the tempo that you need to be running or walking at that time. Time. So if you are a kind of person that uh, kind of runs to the beat of music, then this will definitely help you out. So you do have that option available as well. So there you go. That's just a quick overview of the new Jeff Galloway app. Personally, I am a fan. I like that it has everything that uh, there was on the previous versions of all the different apps, but yeah, it has it all together. I also really like that as Jeff Galloway is uh, definitely a an ambassador of the Disney races and that a lot of people associate Jeff Galloway with the Disney weekend races, then uh, you do have specific training plans for those types of races and that uh, it gets you ready for your challenges, which will be a, a 10K and half marathon. It has uh, an option to prepare you for the dopey. Uh, it has things for uh, individual races there at the Disney parks. So I really like that. Also, it has things that are just generic half marathons, full marathons, 5K, 10K. You know, so if you're just going to run a race wherever you live, then it has something for you as well. I think that adding the weather widget in the opening screen was kind of a nice touch. I also really like that it does include a nutritional aspect to it by suggesting different foods. Because I know a lot of people, if they are coming to uh, running for the first time, a lot of them will look at a Galloway plan just because it's a lot easier to get into a run-walk routine sometimes than to just go into a straight running routine. And if you are a beginner to the sport and you are using the Galloway plan, a lot of times you don't know how to adjust your nutrition in order to help uh, accommodate all this new activity uh, to keep things healthy and uh, get your body fueled and ready to, to run and walk. And so I, I really like that it has that aspect to it. I like that it has uh, suggestions of meals and food in the free options. So there is that. Um, 
I would like some more information on what you get in the paid option as well. Now, I know probably um, in addition to opening up the uh, grocery list and the recipes that it most likely will open up all of the training plans as well. Um, I'm probably gonna have to do a little more research on that and find out, but um, so far, just with the free version of the app, I am definitely uh, getting exactly what I am needing out of it. And that is just the overall uh, training plans that I have, just the ability to program in a workout. I like that the run-walk ratio and the pacing is a lot more customizable than it was in the previous versions of the app. It used to be before that there were only certain numbers that you could choose from and then you were kind of locked in with that. And there's a lot more customization here so that based off of where you are as a runner, this is a, a lot more uh, runner friendly to that. So you're not locked in to, you know, just these five paces and these five ratios. You're able to uh, kind of set and mix and match in order to find what works for you. So overall, I have a very positive view of this new app. If you wanna check it out, I'm gonna have links down below so that you can take a look at it for yourself. Did you find this helpful? Why don't you let me know down in the comments below. This is your second reminder. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the running content I have coming out all the time. You can also follow me on social media. All the links are down in the description. You can find me across all platforms under the name Running Geek Girl. Thanks so much for being here. I can't wait to see you next time. Remember to laugh hard, run fast, and be kind. See you guys later.